Hello everyone, you read the latest market news on March the 1st, 2021. House baked Biden's $1.9 trillion stimulus plan. U.S. President Joe Biden scored his first victory in Congress when the House of Representatives on Saturday approved his $1.9 trillion economic bailout plan. However, Democrats may not be able to use the bill to raise the minimum wage. The House supported the sweeping plan by a majority vote, 219 to 212, and sent the bill to the Senate, where Democrats are planning a legislative maneuver to pass the document without Republican support. The stimulus would fund vaccines and medicines as well as a new round of emergency funding financial assistance for households, small business, state and local governments. The bill's big items include $1,400 in direct payments to Americans, a federal unemployment benefit of $400 a week through August the 29th, and help for those struggling with rent and mortgage payments during the pandemic. AstraZeneca sells Moderna steak for $1 billion. UK's pharmaceutical company AstraZeneca sold its stake in Moderna for $1.2 billion. The company was second-largest shareholder of the American biotech, owning 7.7% of shares. However, AstraZeneca has now decided to lock in profits after a breakthrough in the development of a vaccine against the coronavirus pushed Moderna quotes up. Exactly when AstraZeneca sold its stake is unclear. AstraZeneca maintains a partnership with Moderna to treat other diseases and may begin selling a COVID-19 vaccine developed with Oxford University on a commercial basis in the future if the virus becomes endemic. The UK's company will use the proceeds from the sale to develop its own line of drugs and to buy the American company Alexion, which deals with the rare diseases. Stock markets rise amid broad global optimism. Asian stocks rallied Monday as a bit of surrender return to bond markets after last week's roller coaster ride as progress on a huge stimulus package in the U.S. fueled optimism about a global economic recovery. Also helping the mood is the news that shipments of Johnson & Johnson's recently approved COVID-19 vaccine will begin Tuesday. The MSCI Asia-Pacific's largest index of stocks outside Japan rose 1 percent after a 3.7 percent drop last Friday. Japan's Nikkei gained 2.1 percent, while China's blue chips added over. 0.8%. China's official manufacturing PMI over the weekend missed forecasts, but Japanese figures show the fastest growth in two years. Investors are also counting on upbeat news from the raft of U.S. data due out this week, including the February payrolls report. In the West, Nasdaq futures rose 1.2 percent and S&P 500 futures gained 0.8 percent. Eurostox 50 and FTSC futures up 1.0 percent. China cuts rare earth experts due to underpricing. China's Rare Earth, a group of 17 minerals used in military equipment, consumer electronics and electric cars, are undervalued because of stiff competition and face low resource utilization that will lead to a race to the bottom, the country's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology said Monday. The world's largest producer of rare earth metals is threatening to limit exports of the materials to the U.S., leaving Washington scrambling to find alternative supplies. The country's exports of rare earth metals hit a five-year low in 2020 pandemic driving overseas demand and growing supply in domestic industries, prompting stricter regulations of the rare earth chain in January. The country's rare earth quota for the first half of 2021 was set at 84,000 tons, up 27 percent from a year earlier.